We turned 200 years old in 2015, and we do everything the same way that they did back in, in that early day. So when Jacob Lewis founded his pottery down on the riverbanks in 1815, little did he know that he would, would create the largest pottery company in the South. And we still celebrate his traditions today. If you go back to the early history, the pioneers and the immigrants who were coming through Louisville, this was their last stop to fill up on goods. So their most valuable goods, whether it was sugar or flour, those types of things, they would put in huge 30-gallon crocks, they would put a wooden top on it, seal it with beeswax, and it was really the only safe storage container uh, of its day. So if you wanted to protect something and it was valuable, you would put that in one of these large crocs, they would load it on their wagons or their flatboats and head west toward, toward the farmlands. We really want to celebrate the actual pottery itself and the artists themselves. When you walk into the showroom, you, your eyes kind of light up when you see all the different colors and patterns. There's a little something for everybody. We actually have uh, people that come in looking for a specific piece or pattern they've been collecting over the years or their mother or grandmother maybe even gave them a collection um, that they've had for so you know, 25, 30, 40 years and they're still adding to that collection. So it's pretty unique to, to hear those stories and know that people are living with stoneware, it lasts a lifetime and it's handed down from generation to generation and that's pretty special. A lot of people come to us for gifts. We have bridal registry, we have great young brides or lots of young brides that are kind of signing up. We hope they're going to be the next generation of people who continue this tradition. And we've got food items, we're bringing in items from craftspeople and uh, people from all over the state. So we want this to be a place where you come and celebrate your holidays, your traditions, weddings, or if you just want to buy a friend a great gift, we'd like you to come down and uh, see our place. From earth, water, fire to table, because that's our process um, with the clay, to sum it up in four steps. And it's pretty amazing that um, that, that still exists today. Each piece um, is made by hand. We have trucks that come in multiple times a year and deliver us clay. It's a byproduct of mining. It's derived from the earth. We take that clay through a purifying process, and at that point, it's either jiggered or casted, and then it's finished. Um, in our finishing department, people actually smooth out the clay. Then it goes on to a, a prep department, and then it goes on to an artist department and it gets an overglaze, which makes it that shiny, lustery look and feel, and it also is impermeable, less permeable to scratches and, and chipping, but that, that's also what makes it oven, microwave, freezer, and dishwasher safe. And after it's been glazed, and fi it's fired on a kiln. The kilns typically burn 23 hours. They ramp up to a certain temperature, and they're soaked, and then we bring them down. Um, so that firing process at 2300 degrees is, makes, makes everything pretty durable. But that process from front to back, literally 22 hands touch each piece of pottery. Each piece being hand done, um, you know, whether it's done by the same artist or a different artist, no two pieces are identical because of that process itself. And that's something that we like to share with our, our customers, especially uh, we have a lot of corporate clients that will order you know, large volumes of pieces. And that, that takes us a very long time to make those pieces because they're by hand, but we also want them to know that the recipients will each be receiving something that's individual and unique in itself. The bachelor button pattern started in either the late 60s or the early 70s. There was a lady by the name of Edith Ellis that was the first lady to paint the pattern. Uh, and it continues as one of our most popular patterns today. It's still our number one seller. We're really focused on tourism and, uh, and bringing people back. And so we did a lot of studies and we figured out that it was time. It hadn't, the retail space probably hadn't been touched in 30 or 40 years. So we've got uh, an experienced kitchen that we partnered with General Electric to bring chefs in, show people how to cook with stoneware. We bring in uh, artists, we bring in uh, gardeners. Again, about teaching people how to live and be part of this national American treasure. One of the things that's different about Stoneware now is that we're partnering up with um, local artists um, throughout the state of Kentucky. People are making different things. We actually have food products and soaps and things that can complement the stoneware that you can use with the stoneware. And, and we're celebrating those artists as well as the artists here at Louisville Stoneware. And together we can bring 
you know, we can be, you know, kind of a, a place for someone to go to for all their needs. There's an artist by the name of David Mahoney that's created a bunch of new patterns, which we have in our showroom. We've got a bunch of light and bright colors that we've recently done uh, that we're hoping to attract a younger audience. And, you know, everything is still hand painted and everything is touched by at least 20 sets of hands. So we hope that with everything we're doing in the future, we continue to honor the traditions of the past. If you come and tour the factory and meet the people who work here, who some of them have worked here for 35 years, you'll understand that this tradition is something that is worth having in your home and it's not uh, a disposable item. And I think people, I think people in this country are getting back to that and understanding the importance of it. It's a great time for Louisville Stoneware to be celebrating 200 years.